Hey there, this is Jasmine Jones from AHP. I'm the Manager of Research and Insights, and I'm going to show you how to run your benchmarking reports for the report on giving. So as you can see here, we're logged into the Report on Giving Database's website. If you're not logged in, um, just type in surveys.ahp.org into your search bar, and then you can get there. Um, so here we're just logged in as a test person, um, but obviously you would see all of your organization's information here. Um, so what we're going to do is just go to the benchmarking tab and go down to predefined reports. Now when you get to the screen, um, you could have a couple of different options here. Um, if you're just a participant and you're not a subscriber to benchmarking, you're just going to have the scorecard here. But if you are a basic or advanced subscriber, you're going to have these different options where you can drop down um, and see your other reports available. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to do the scorecard because everyone has access to that. Just go ahead and click into that. And when you get there, then you're going to have a couple of different things here. So your focus organization is going to just be your organization's information. Um, so here we just have our demonstration hospital. Uh, your comparison group, this is where you're going to have a drop down um, depending on what comparison group you want to look at. So let's just do all benchmarking participants from fiscal year 2017. Um, there's a couple of comparison groups that AHP makes every year just for all of our participants, but you can of course make your own comparison groups and we have another video on that. Um, so the output format, HTML, that means that when you uh, advance to the next page, it's just going to be on your web page. But if you want, you can export this as, as a PDF as well if you need to save it or if you need to take screenshots or if you need to send it to someone, you can do that too, but we're just going to do HTML. And um, for fiscal year, we're just going to do 2017 because we're looking at fiscal year 2017 data. You can honestly do any fiscal year. It's just going to, um, so like all of your benchmarking participants here, it's just going to use their fiscal year 2016 data. Um, if there's some folks in this group that did not participate in fiscal year 2016, then they would just be excluded. Um, but we're just going to do fiscal year 2017 for now, just to make things easy. Uh, graph type, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's going to give you a bar graph regardless, so you can just leave this. And include focus organization. So this is asking if it, you want to include your organization's information or not. You can uncheck this if you don't want to see your organization's information, but we're just going to keep it checked for the purposes of this. And then when you're all set, just do view slideshow. And you're going to get to the screen where it kind of gives you a little introduction text about what the scorecard is, how it works, uh, the data that's included in the scorecard, and um, some information on how to uh, get into a basic or advanced subscription, but we're just going to click next. And then you're going to get another screen where it just gives you some more information about um, return on investment and cost to raise a dollar specifically. And then we click next one more time, and this is where you actually get to the scorecard. So you're going to have your fiscal year here that we selected earlier, and then your comparison group that we selected earlier here, just so you can remember what you chose. And you're going to see a couple of different things here. So at the top row here, these are all of your metrics that we're looking at. Um, so you have return on investment, cost to raise a dollar, net fundraising revenue, um, total fundraising expenses, and total endowment here. And then this yellow bar is going to be your organization's information. You can see there's a couple of spots where we're missing data um, just because we, we didn't fill those in, but we do have other data here um, for our demonstration hospital, but this would be your organization's information. If you did not participate in uh, the fiscal year that you're looking at, then this is going to be blank. But if you did participate, then you would see data here. And then on the left column, you just have all the different um, things that we're looking at. So uh, we have different percentiles here, and then we have the average as well. Uh, so that is there. And then we also have a uh, total number of organizations in your comparison group, just as a reminder. Um, so in our comparison group, we have 215. And as you can see across the board here, we have 215. Um, but the one difference is going to be the number of organizations reporting valid data. So this is basically saying um, in each one of these metric uh, columns, how many organizations actually gave us data for that. So for example, if we look here at um, total endowment, we only had, out of our 215 organizations in our comparison group, we only had 113 who gave us numbers for total endowment. So you can uh, take a screenshot of this if you'd like, and you can 
uh, you know, paste it in a PowerPoint or send it to someone. But you can also export it as a CSV if you want to use this data like in a Tableau type system or something like that. Or if you have someone in your office that likes the number crunching, you can do that too. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, when you go to next, it's going to start giving you uh, different graphs for all of the data that we just looked at. So here we're looking at return on investment and cash and production. And as you can see here, um, the well, actually let me back up. Um, the blue bars here show um, our comparison group, and then the red little dot here shows um, our organization's values. And as you can see here, it says that um, the comparison group. Uh, bar that we see here is based on median data. Um, so that's going to be the 50th percentile. And you can download this as an image if you want to, again, if you want to send it to someone or if you want to put it in a PowerPoint or something. But again, you can always export this as a CSV too. So we have it for return on investment. We also have it for cost to raise a dollar. And also for net fundraising revenue, and this is for uh, this is uh, in production, and this is also per direct staff FTE person. And you can also look at it uh, by total fundraising expenses.